when I place the projector onto the ground around the same distance from the wall, which the manual says should be about 33 centimeters from the wall, when I did that and I had it on the ground, I was getting an image close to about 130 inches. Hey everybody, it's your boy Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com and I've probably guessed we're talking about projectors today. I got the BenQ V7050i 4K Ultra HD home theater projector. Now what makes this unique is this is an ultra short throw projector, meaning you put it very close to your screen as opposed to long throw projectors, which is far away from your screen. Now in this review, we'll look at the design. We'll talk a little bit about the setup of this projector, and then I'm going to give you my experiences using it. We're going to look at some footage. And what makes this really unique is that this projector is really designed for brightly lit rooms, meaning you could use this in daytime. The big question is, can this replace a 4K TV? Is it an alternative to a 4K TV? So without further ado, you know how we do. Get your popcorn ready, folks, and cue the intro. Now, what's very interesting from a design perspective is on the top, when you press the power button, there is a motorized cover that starts to move and that exposes the lens, the projector lens. Now, the reason for this design element is to really protect the lens from dirt and dust and other kinds of debris. And it's quite fascinating. It kind of reminds me of Knight Rider for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just an ultra cool feature inside of it. On the sides, you'll notice that you do have these grills and that allows for heat dissipation and airflow in between the projector because if you don't know, projectors actually run really hot. That bulb gets super hot um, because it's bright, I guess. Now on the back, you're gonna find all the different ports and here's where you're probably gonna be a little bit disappointed because you'll notice that there's only two HDMI ports and one of them is actually reserved for the BenQ Android TV dongle. And it actually says with a sticker which one that is. It's actually the HDMI port. So you're really left with one HDMI port, which is unfortunate if you have like a Roku streaming stick, maybe you have an Xbox or a PlayStation. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna have to get an HDMI splitter, which is actually what I use with my projector. So just bear in mind, if you do get this, you probably want to get a splitter to be able to connect the rest of your devices because it only comes with those two HDMI ports. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the setup. Now once you get the dongle in and everything set up and it ready and against the wall, what you'll notice is that everything really happens on your phone in terms of the setup. If you have an Android phone, it's going to be super simple. It's all Google. It basically takes your account, registers it to the dongle, and then you'll be up and running I'd say in about 10 or 15 minutes. Once you get it up and running, the next step is really the positioning. And this is where I noticed that compared to other projectors, or even TVs for that matter, you really gotta be a geek because it's gonna take time. You gotta play around uh, with different types of tables and, and things for it to be placed on to get that ultimate image. And one thing I noticed uh, when I was doing it was that when I had it sitting on the coffee table and I was measuring the, the screen size that I could get, you know, trying to maximize the screen size, I was getting about, I'd say, 100 inches. However, when I placed the projector onto the ground around the same distance from the wall, which the manual says should be about 33 centimeters from the wall, when I did that and I had it on the ground, I was getting an image close to about 130 inches inches. Now the projector is supposed to do up to 120 inches. So I was probably really close in that range. It was hard to actually get that diagonal measurement. I had to put a pin on one side. You know, if I had two people, I would be able to get the exact measurement, but it was somewhere in that 120 to 130 inch range. So the first thing I noticed was if I had to put this in my room, it would have to sit on that ground to be able to convert that entire wall, which I use with the long throw projector. If I wanted that entire wall to have that 4K image, it would have to sit on the ground. And that would be problematic if this was a permanent installation. You could, however, install this on the ceiling, reverse and flip everything, but that is a much bigger installation, um, especially when you want to run power and stuff. So things to take in consideration if you're looking at this projector, 
check out your room, check out where your power source is. How would you configure everything if it was sitting in front of your screen? Like I said, I'm using just a white wall that was painted with a, a matte white paint that was kind of ideal, I was told, for projectors. But if you had that dedicated ALR screen, you're gonna get the best image possible with this. And considering this projector is like, what, 3K or something? You probably want to invest in a screen and, and, and do it right. But I have to say, once I got it set up in the daytime, looking at the footage that I was able to produce, you know, the colors were popping. And we're talking about this being used in the daytime, in daylight. So you can just imagine what it's going to look like at night. It is going to be very, very bright. So bright, in fact, that at nighttime that you probably won't even need to have lights on. Just put the projector on and that's, that's all the lighting that you're going to need in virtually any type of room. But I have to say, you know, even when I walked up to the wall and got nice tight shots, it looked fantastic. The image quality of 4K projectors is very, very impressive. And this is coming from somebody who owns a 1080p projector and I thought that was good. And then I compare it to a 4K projector and it's like, wow, like part of me wants to get a 4K projector, but it's an Airbnb suite. I don't even get to watch movies anyway. So most of the guests are just impressed by having a big screen anyway. So they ain't, <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say is I am not investing in a 4K projector anytime soon. But I truly, truly appreciate this. And the fact that it's an ultra HD, or sorry, an ultra short throw projector, that gives you a lot of options and it could potentially replace a television if you had a wall or a dedicated screen and you could sit the projector. But the thing is you really don't know and start you play around with it and configure it and move it around. So you gotta be super geeky if you're gonna get this because it's gonna take a lot of testing before you wanna do that permanent installation. So that is something to bear in mind if you're gonna get one of these ultra short throw. There are a lot of benefits to it once you get it optimized in your room, but it's gonna take some time. You're gonna have to geek out, so to speak, to, to really get that perfect image. But that technology is here. Anyways, folks, I've been rambling on. I wanna know what you think about these ultra short throw. Do you like long throws, short throws, or would you just rather just get a 4K TV? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of the BenQ V7050i 4K Ultra HD Ultra Short Throw 4K projector. If you did, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and of course, leave your comments below. If you want more information about your boy, reach me up and hit me up on my website, handyandymedia.com. Once again, it's your boy, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy. Signing out. See you again next time.